On a trip to Kauai, we had chicken tinga at a Mexican restaurant and we were hooked. I had the burrito several times and took notes because I'm thorough like that, and I've made my version to appease our craving. I like it hot, and if you do too, you'll love this dish. So grab a cup of hot cocoa, it's time to make some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when new videos go live. For returning subscribers, welcome back. To a large pot of about 5 to 6 cups of boiling water, add 2 pounds of chicken thighs that have been trimmed of their fat. Add 1 quarter of a large diced onion, half a diced jalapeno, and a few cloves of garlic, and any seasonings that you prefer. Allow it to come to a boil. When the chicken is cooked, remove it into a bowl. Keep the onions, jalapenos, and garlic in the broth and set it aside on simmer. Shred the chicken so there are very little, if any, chunks. In a large skillet over medium heat, add about a tablespoon of your preferred oil and swirl it around. Add the other three quarter of the onion, half of the jalapeno, and cook it until almost translucent. Then add three cloves of minced garlic and cook it for about two minutes. Add the mixture to a small blender with a seven ounce can of seeded chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce and add half the onions, jalapenos, and garlic from the broth. Add enough broth to go up about halfway up the ingredients and then blend it until smooth. Put your chicken back into the large pot and add the other half of the onions and jalapenos from the broth. Add the sauce and give it a good stir. If you like it a little thinner, you can add more broth and give it a taste and then season it to your liking with salt and pepper. Then let it simmer until the flavors have melded together. Chicken tinga is great for quesadillas, tacos, burritos, or even a sandwich. The spicy kick of chipotle peppers and adobo is one of my favorites. It freezes well, so you can split the batch and have dinner ready another night when the thought of cooking is not at the top of your list. It'll be ready to dive into when you are. Speaking of which, this one's mine. For the full printable recipe, head on over to mrskringleskitchen.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and share the love with your family and friends.